Hi everyone, my name is Fred from Hillians Bricks and welcome to this ninth installment of my Lego investment journey. So I run a Brickling store and on top of that I also started investing in Lego. So what does that mean? I buy Lego sets and wait for them to retire and then hopefully in the future I sell them at a profit. So it's not always that straightforward. So in this these episodes I kind of go through my journey as a Lego investor. The mistakes that I've made I will be sharing as well. So don't take this as any uh, financial advice. I'm just sharing you my findings as I'm doing this as, you know, kind of my hobby. And uh, hopefully we'll see it goes well. But uh, yeah, Lego investing is not always as easy as people may make out there to be because there's lots of costs as well that are not necessarily shared. You know, I do have an external storage unit uh, that does cost quite a bit and I have a lot of Lego sets stored there. So every week we bring this series where I cover three to four sets and kind of share with you the pricing I bought, what my plans are with them and uh, seeing if it's gone on track or not. So yeah, shall we get started? So let's start with a set that's actually still active. So it's 79298 is a Star Wars 8080 versus Taunton uh, Microfighter set. So this is available currently for £18 and comes with 205 pieces and two minifigures. Uh, it will launch in March 2021 and it's still pr uh, available right now. Uh, I've got 12 of these already and my average buying price has been around the 13, 14 pound mark. Uh, currently the part out value for this set uh, hovers around just under 28 pounds. On eBay you can get these for 15 pounds more or less. And if you look at the recent history of sales on eBay, these have also been selling around 15 pounds. Interestingly enough as well, on Amazon there's currently on sale for £15 and they've been on sale quite a lot. And uh, on Bricklink we start to see them from as low as £11.69 but it's worth remembering that people tend to add costs on top of that that does not include shipping typically or any other fees that the Bricklink store might add. So what's my plan for this set? So I'm a big fan of microfighter sets. Uh, you know, people who've been following my channel I know that and... Uh, a, because I think they tend to do quite well over time. And I do like these double packs because they come with two minifigures as well. Um, they've got decent part count as well. And they are very small to store as well. So you you don't need a lot of space to necessarily store quite a lot of them. So And it, it being Star Wars is generally a popular theme. So from that aspect, I think over time they will do well. Uh, the downside is that many people have probably been buying them because they are affordable to buy they've also get discounted quite a lot and significant discounts of 20 25 percent plus so yes i think you will have more competition but if you are patient and have time uh, you should see some decent return on investment at least that's my opinion so from my perspective i typically look for an roi of 100 percent and uh, that's after fees and shipping costs so for me for this my target price for selling this set will be around the £30 mark, I would say, that that would, should then cover uh, my shipping cost and fees to give me an ROI of around 100%. Now, the second set I'm going to cover is 75239, another Star Wars set, which is the Action Battle Hoth. So this was uh, uh, available for £25 RRP and comes with 235 pieces and two minifigures. This was only available for uh, from April 2019 to July 2020, so just over a year. I got three of these and my average buying price was very competitive with just under £14. Part of that value is £26.51 and surprisingly uh, on eBay you can still get these for about £16. Uh, and if you look at the recent sales history these, these were also for £16. On Amazon currently you can get it for £23.75 which is still below the RRP. And if you look at Brickling they start from £17.10. So what's my plan for this one? Well, for me, it's going to be a hold for now. Um, and this is a very interesting set because people usually believe if you buy some Star Wars and you buy a discount that you're going to do right, it's going to be going over up in time and it should be fine. So this must be one of the few that's an exception to the rule because it's been retired for over a year now and it's still kind of available below the RRP price. So that's quite of a surprise. Um, I do expect that over time it might go up. I think a lot of people have been buying the set again at a discounted price. Now I'm fairly confident that I'll be okay because I did buy it at uh, a very competitive price below what it is now. Uh, I could also part it out if I needed to. Um, but uh, I think I might have to wait another year or two and see where that is going to go. Uh, my target price, similar to the last Star Wars set, will be around the £30 mark. So we'll 
Well, it'll be interesting to see if we're going to get there. Amazon uh, is starting to creep up, but uh, as long as these prices are still available this low, it might take some time for it to all flush out, but we'll find out, right? And the final set is a modular building. It's 10264 is the corner garage. So this was available for £160 in the UK. It comes with 2,569 pieces and six minifigures. This was launched in January 2019 and has just retired in December 2021. Although it was quite difficult to find them lately. Uh, I managed to buy two of these at a discounted price. So my average buying price was £138.88. Part of value for the set is very healthy at £282.31. pence, And if you start looking at eBay, they are listed from £210. The recent history suggests that these have been selling at £200 to £210. And if you look on Amazon, it's now available for £272.49. pence. On Bricklink, the lowest you can find in the UK is £235. So what's my plan for this set? So if you've noticed uh, the Bricklink uh, site, I've actually listed mine already for £300 on there. Uh, I do not want to be listing uh, below the part out value because for me that does not make sense. I might as well part it out, even though it would take much longer to get that money back. Um, I also aim to look for an ROI of 100%, as I mentioned earlier in this video. And I do think that the £300 mark uh, will give that... Um, for me so i tend to ship uh, offer free shipping if people spend 50 pounds on my store that's why i kind of put it a bit higher as well but i think this set will do generally quite well most modular builders have been doing quite well it's also a set that was towards the latter part of its life uh will start to get very difficult to find i would say probably from the summer of 2021 i did not see this set in any of the lego stores so uh if you manage to snap it up quite late i think you've done quite well uh, but also on the contrary, there's not often that you can buy this set at a discount price. So I was quite pleased, even though I've only got two, I managed to get it at a discount price. I've sold my last modular buildings at a nice profit quite quickly. So I'm hopeful that uh, come this Christmas, I might do the same. But uh, time will tell. So fingers crossed and hopefully we'll do well on that one. So that was the three sets that I wanted to cover in this week's video. Let me know what you think or if there's any sets that you're looking out for for me to cover. So I do have a quite an extensive uh, inventory of lego sets shall we say but yeah as i said that's it for this week we'll be back with another installment make sure you check out our previous videos if you've missed any of the previous uh in this series but we'll see you again soon bye for now